What up, what up? Thank you guys for joining in today. I am BK back at you with another banger. Or supposed banger, that is. Today, we're jumping into the audio warp algorithm for the MPC 2.81. Now, I've done a lot of videos in the past in regards to this algorithm setup and the time stretch mechanism for the MPC. We all know it has not been the, the best. However, it is workable and we've been working with it so far for the last couple of years. The MPC 2.7 brought the best uh, algorithm, if you will, for the software. Now, when it comes to the standalone, you know, you get the basic MPC, least CPU intensive algorithm. So with the MPC 2.81 or the MPC 2.8, I believe it came in the 2.8. Again, I've been away. I know y'all tired of hearing me saying that, but I've been away. So I didn't realize what was going on. And upon my return and doing these recordings for upload, you know, I'm just venturing off and I see this right here. You know, I'm always on Elastic Pro, by the way. but. I seen Pro 10 and I'm like, Pro 10? What's that? And it's, you know, so if you were to look at the metrics of this, right, you have basic least CPU and then you have Elastic Pro best sound, right? At the high, high end. And in between, you got Elastic Efficient, Elastic Mobile, and Pro 10. Now, and all the elastics, quote unquote, are just for the MPC software. So that we don't have on the MPC hardware units. What we do have is the basic Lee CPU. Now we also have the Pro 10. So I have it on Pro 10. I messed with, if you caught that last video, I didn't mention it in that video, but the um, the Woolpack video when I cooked up, I was cooking up using the Pro 10 and it sounded pretty good. So in this video, after all that talking, I'm not, I don't have any rhyme or reason. I may or may not complete a full beat what I just want to do is just test because I, I, I tested it in that beat making video, but I, I, you know, I wasn't really pushing it because I had an agenda to display the, uh, the wool pack, right? As a review. In this one, I just want to test it, like doing the things that I would normally do on a, you know, on a day to day cook up basis and see what that makes it. So, I want to mess with uh, this drum break right quick. What I'm doing right quick, I want to see if I can uh, run a patch phrase with this drum break not saying i'm going to use it i just want to hear how how it works with the pro 10 algorithm um because in the past that basic cpu when you use the uh when you try to do that the patch phrase it didn't work so good so the thing with patch phrase you want to know how many uh beats that there, there are I got videos on the channel showing how to do that, so I'm not going to go into that detail. But you want to go to, want to go into chop, chop by BPM. Or you could do it by region. Doesn't really matter. Or you could do it by threshold. I'm gonna do it by threshold. I'm gonna go to convert. 
And I'm going to go all the way down to where it says passphrase. Now, the number of bars is two, right? So I'm going to leave it on two bars, but remember that you want to know what the how many beats there are. In this particular drum um, break, it was seven beats. It wasn't fully eight, right? All right, so we got that. Now, they do it. So now, now, I'll go back to the home. I'm not sure why these are lit up. Right, I will take this and I will drop it here. Now you hear you hear those you hear that artifact. So I go to program edit and I go to uh I go to wave right here so you guys can see it. And then I hit warp. Listen to the difference. Right? Opposed to warp. And the time is off because why I uh I did the, the timing so I know that. I know what the timing is. So now I just go like this, boom. Got the drum break in there. What I'm gonna do is press play and I'm gonna mess with the uh the BPM, the master BPM. gonna change the algorithm real quick change it to the basic change it back to pro 10. Change to Elastic Mobile. So it's not a grave difference, but it is a difference nonetheless. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh. I'm going to, so now I'm going to test it with an actual sample. All right, so now I'm going to chop the sample up as I would normally just with the Pro 10 algorithm. Program non destructive, yada yada. We're going here. Four times two. Yada. I might have played that out a little bit. Let me just fix that real quick. Fix that. Boom. Bring that here. Let's 
So the time is right. There's a little a little glitch there. Um, it may not be no fault to, to myself. Uh, it might just be the sample. I'm going to double check. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and I'm going to work the sample. Make sure you got to make sure you're on all so it works correctly. So, I mean, the Pro 10, it works. It's pretty smooth, it's pretty accurate. That uh sample comes from uh the six pack by the homie CMP. By the way, I haven't done a, a review on it, but I'm sure you guys probably already grabbed it. For most of you that you know are from the tribe, I know you guys already have it. But uh yeah, for the most part, Pro 10 is pretty accurate, it's pretty on point, it's pretty solid. The thing I wanted to show, this is the main point with this whole uh algorithm thing and the basic uh, audio or least least CPU audio whatever whenever you got into the tuning whenever you was using the the semi or fine tune and you went up to plus 12 the the aliasing of the the warping sounded horrible on the CPU um so I want to touch on that real quick before I try to layer with jump. And again, I know this video might be all over the place, but it's it's solely based around the algorithm, not more so of me making a beat, not really trying to make a beat. I just want to work in the way that I would normally work, but just showing you guys what the algorithm is actually doing. All right. So that's normal. If you pay attention to right here, the semi, I'll make it larger. But I'm gonna use my uh my control knob, my jog wheel rather on the NPC live to uh change the rhythm. So normally when on, on the basic CPU, like I'm going to show you guys, on the basic CPU, the CPU, whenever you got up into those like seven, eight octaves, it sounded crazy. You hear it? Now, that's cool. That could be like a an effect, if you will. You know what I'm saying? But if you want that clean sound, sometimes that, you know, depending on who you are and how you're trying to produce, that's not going to work. So now I just simply just change it back to the Pro 10. And you automatically hear a difference, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna just jump. I'm not even gonna mess with the elastic mobile and efficient. I'm gonna go right to best sound. And let's hear what the difference is. Now listen keenly. If you got headphones on, pay attention. You'll hear it very clean. I'm gonna go back to Pro 10. And on Pro 10, there's, it's like if I was pressing the, the pads and you hear a little pop sound, right? Listen. You hear those pop sounds, right? Now let me go back to Elastic Pro. Now 
how you don't hear it. It's still there, but it's not as in your face in your, or in your ears, rather. Um, and that's that's just what the, the audio warp algorithm is. Now, again, I'm just going to go back to the basic CPU. Now, that, that's the least CPU, right? And this is the best sound. And this is the new Pro 10. It's better than the least CPU. Nonetheless, it's absolutely 100 times better. But it, it's still, you know, not the best, right? Um, and in standalone, you have it. There's, there's not much information on it. I'm still doing research on it to, to, to bring it to you guys, but there isn't much information on it. I didn't go on social media and all that. I just went into the manual and, um, is not much in there. So as I learn and I see what it has to offer, I'll bring it right back to you guys. But this was just another uh, quick tutorial guide, if you will, to help you guys on the time stretch audio warp algorithm with the new functions of the Pro 10 from the MPC. And again, if you have the MPC 1, MPC, um, the MPC 1, the MPC X, the MPC Live MK2 or MPC Live. The, the first original, you can use this in standalone mode, right? Any other NPCs, you have to be connected to the computer. Um, so depending on your computer and what, how many gigs of RAM you have, that's where the memory situation comes in and how old your computer is. Um, but in standalone mode, you're just based off of what <laughs> came with your MPC. And, you know, that's what you got to work with. So any likes, comments, or concerns, post it up in the comment section. I'll be sure to get back to you at my most earliest convenience. Again, I wasn't really attempting to make a beat in this one. I just wanted to share with the community um, the Pro 10. I'm not sure if anyone already on top of it. If you guys know more than I, no, right now, with the limited information that we do have, please do share it in the comment section. Or if you if there's a link to someone who already touched the topic, I'd like to see that. So post a link in the comment section or a name that I can research and see what's going on. So I am BK. This was another not so banger, <laughs> but <laughs> you know what it is, man. Do remember that music is life. It is our DNA. Keep banging. Peace. Love and life in that side. Hey.
Peace.